How many of you were playing the original Battlefront games back in the day? The sixth console generation was a fantastic era for Star Wars games, and many consider Battlefront 2, the original, to be the absolute peak. Like, yeah, there were some other great games from around that time, like Knights of the Old Republic and the Obi-Wan game, and there were also some great standouts in the seventh console gen as well, like The Force Unleashed, which I've actually been replaying recently, and it holds up really well, even if the PC port's a little bit rough. But for a lot of us, the original Battlefront games were peak Star Wars for the world of video games, and we're never going to forget the absolute mountain of missed potential that the cancellation of Battlefront 3 was. For those who may not have known, there was actually going to be a third Battlefront game developed by an extremely ambitious team that you may know of called Free Radical. There have even been a handful of gameplay videos that made it onto the internet, and a few years ago, a fully playable unfinished build of the game was leaked online. Which, if you can find it and you have the technical know-how to get it up and running, I absolutely recommend trying it out, because it's amazing, and it's not even done. This game was going to completely reinvent Star Wars gaming as we knew it, and the scale of the battles was going to be even bigger than anything we've gotten since its cancellation. Like, ground battles that transition to space battles with multiple simultaneous battlegrounds going at the same time. Like, think Battlefront 2 mixed with Planet Side 2, and that's probably not even doing it justice. The scale of this game was going to be incredible, and yet it never came out and its final status has been a mystery ever since it was confirmed to be shutting down development. But why am I reopening all of these old wounds in 2023? Well, because we actually got some new information about the original Battlefront 3 through one of the former developers, and while I admit that it kinda did just pour more salt on the gaping stab wound, it's interesting to talk about, and it's worth making a little video about for those of us that played the original Battlefront games and wanna reminisce about what could've been. Michael Barclay is a name that some of you may know, as he's currently the lead designer at Naughty Dog, but he he got his start in the gaming industry as a level designer for Free Radical and was actually part of the Battlefront 3 team. His LinkedIn page still lists Battlefront 3 as one of his major projects, and on the entry he lists that he was tasked with, quote, single player and multiplayer level design and mission scripting. So he was extremely close to the Battlefront 3 situation and all the drama going on that we never really knew everything about, and on April 15th he actually opened up about it on Twitter. Last week, a trend was going around Twitter where different game developers would talk about their quote, one that got away, so basically talking about the projects that never got finished and that they still think about. And Michael Barclay actually quote tweeted the original post and talked about Battlefront 3. He said, quote, I feel like it's been long enough now to come out and say Star Wars Battlefront 3 was gonna be legit incredible, and the fact it got canceled two yards from the finish line is an absolute crime. Gamers don't know what they were robbed of. If you want a more in-depth look at the game that almost was, I recommend checking out a game by G Vemers. I hope that's how you say the channel name. It's called The Battlefront We Never Got. And it goes into heavy detail about what was going on behind the scenes between Free Radical and LucasArts during development. And it shows off a ton of the unfinished gameplay footage, but the fact that the game was so close to completion still stings all these years later. I'm really hoping that that unfinished build of Battlefront 3 can be completed somehow, perhaps through a fan project or through some former Free Radical developer coming in and kind of making a passion project out of it, but then again, knowing how strict Disney and LucasArts are of their IP nowadays, they probably would never let something like this get finished. Especially since it would put the new Battlefront games to absolute shame. The fact that this game was cancelled so close to completion is heartbreaking, and even after learning more about the business dealings and the actual reasons for the game's cancellation, I still don't understand why it was justified to shut the project down after so much money was put into its development and how little there was left to be done before all of that money and so much much more would have been made back with the release. Battlefront 3 is just such a heartbreaking situation to a longtime Star Wars fan and as someone who grew up on Battlefront 1 and 2. And I'm really hoping that maybe someday we'll get the game finished in an official way or maybe an unofficial way, or perhaps that game will be used as a blueprint for a future Battlefront reboot because I think we all know that DICE isn't going to do anything about it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about Battlefront 3. Let me know if you are just as heartbroken as I am. And yeah, sorry for the bad news video. Sorry for reopening all these old wounds, but I feel like the Battlefront 3 situation is something that should be documented and should be fresh in everybody's minds because it really highlights a lot of the inner workings and a lot of the less talked about problems that happen in the gaming industry that can lead to such an amazing artistic vision and such a game-changing game to never actually make it into our hands. Like the video, sub to the page, and go give your local game developer a hug because they deal with a lot of unnecessary crap like this. We'll see you in the next one.